Well, hello there, Gemini. It looks like right now is the time to relax, decompress, and even have a little bit of fun before this challenge kicks in. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Gemini Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you today. If you are interested, there is a link to the extended in the description box below. The unknown is your friend. This came out for Taurus, number 24, Roost 2 is 6. Lean in to embrace what's next. Breadcrumbs of Bliss, number 11, number of mastery. Heed your pleasure principle. This feels like um, the time to let loose before something kicks in. Like, um, I don't know why this scene's coming up in my mind, but it, it's almost like the um, the party and feast the night before you, you know you're going to battle. Or war. That's really interesting. Because I'm seeing it kind of Game of thrones -y in my head. You know there's something that's coming up. And there's like a window for you to just do whatever. <laughs> before before something challenging or something tough needs to be handled. and Or focused on. Interesting. Alright. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. King of Wands, Leo energy. Ah, that's good underline. Motivated. Ace of Wands, more fire. Queen of Wands. Nine of Coins. Six of Wands. King of Coins, Taurus Energy, Two of Cups. Nine of Coins. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read this set as you. This is them. This is the situation. Um, I see you trying to win a soul bond, essentially. Okay. So that's that's the challenge ahead. Okay. Um, trying to win a soul bond. I'm, I'm also hearing for someone win back a soul bond. Okay. This person, <clears throat> excuse me, this person, Gemini, is someone who is so solid in their own energy coming across as an age gap for somebody um but they are folding into their prosperity they've they've learned the art of manifestation for their lives it's taken a bit but the lesson stuck and now they're about to thrive in a really big way okay so you are super clear on what it is you wish to catch and keep. Okay. Um, interested to see if it's more a past person or if it's more new. Because clearly this person has caught your eye. Let's see. There's, a, okay. In your mind, it looks like there's a lot of steps to take in order to get here to pursue this ace of wands or to make this ace of wands happen there's a lot of change that's taken time could have involved other people um it's almost like <clears throat> if you had to break up with someone else um there that took that took longer than you wanted it to of course um but it's almost kind of like once you were done, you slam the door shut behind you so no one can follow you. Like when you were done, done, done. Okay. 
Um, and it's it's almost like if this happened at night, if this happened at night, it feels like you may have went straight out to the bar and called friends. Hey, I'm going out. Let's go. I broke up finally. And they're like, finally. And because they knew too, <laughs> kind of thing. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, they're, those friends are encouraging you about how happy it's going to be and how great it's going to be to start new world is your oyster you could do anything that you want these are good friends these are good friends good friends at least, at least they're optimistic and they're booing your optimism right that's 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 what we can hope from our friends okay okay so the party before the challenge let's get into the details of the ace of wands please show me the new Eight of Wands, Moon, Card of Pisces, Fool, Four of Swords, Knight of Wands. Ah, look at us being introspective. This is good. This is good. Because um, there's something here before you know you could bring this Ace of Wands in, this, this passionate new beginning. Um, you know that there's an amount of work to be done on the self that has to do with immaturity. Okay, immaturity around partnership. Okay, you, okay, you look at fixing this or healing and processing this as a huge challenge or risk to take. But it's the feeling of I might as well, because here I am. Okay, which is no nonsense enough. I mean, it, it's far better than making up reasons to not do the work right but you know a certain amount of healing processing has to be done before you bring in a new beginning that's 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 a gold star on the refrigerator for emotional intelligence for sure show me the queen of swords for gemini please page of swords I'm hearing hiatus with the hanged man. Eight of cups. Eight of cups. Ah, okay. Okay. So as you look into the process to take, whether you're choosing to go to therapy, spiritual practice, whatever it is, um, you come to the conclusion that there's that there's the hiatus of your energy of <coughs> excuse me. That you're going to be out of commission for others. For the access of others, for others accessing you for a certain amount of time. Might be somewhere between five and eight months, to be honest. Um, to get to really deep dive into this work. Okay. Um, you're being realistic about it. This this is realistic and practical. This is key. Show me the six of wands, please, for Gemini. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, Done Resisting, good. <laughs> ten of Swords, Ten of Wands in the same, Weesh. Knight of Swords. The faster you accept the challenge, the faster you fold into it, the faster you'll get through it. Okay. You will master this. It's showing me you will master this, and it will happen sooner than you think. Remember, you don't have to be a thousand percent healed to be a new relationship. Show me the two of cups, please. Nine of swords, five of pentacles, strength, card of Leo, eight of coins. Ah, this might be a past person for some of you. Because it's it's been it's been some form of anxiety, whether it's on the back burner of your brain that you haven't told people or what. There's been an amount of loss in your physical world ever since the absence of this two of cups. Okay. It's like once this connection disconnected, you try to grasp for more control. So you wouldn't lose anymore, but then the loss 
the loss still happened. Okay. Okay. Let's get into this person. Because they seem pretty solid from top to bottom. Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Coins. Show me the Nine of Coins for this person, please. Page of Coins. The only one we're missing is the Queen of Coins. Eight of Coins. They got it. They implemented some sort of idea that has led them to their abundance, whether that's a business idea, a career change, something that they had to start fresh that changed everything in the way that was a wish come true for this person. Okay. Show me the king of coins for them, please. King of wands. Hermits. Heart of Virgo. Three of pentacles. Three of swords. Both those. Three of cups. Six of cups. King of cups. There are three people here. There are three kings here. Um. Okay. Show me what was discovered about it. Because this is a good old-fashioned three of wands, a good old-fashioned third-party wound. All three of the threes, that they blew that wound apart. Good for them. That was quite the challenge, wasn't it, to see the truth of that? That that's the truth. That's the third-party wound was standing in the way of their them generating long-term abundance. It it became undeniable, completely undeniable. All of the threes. Look at that, in one row. Because it's showing me that a soul bond taught them about a third party wound. And once they saw it, they can't unsee it. They Then they decided to fold into the tower to blow it apart. Show me the result, please. That's Scorpio energy with the tower for those keeping track. Yeah, they're moving faster. They're more confident. They're more resilient. They're moving faster towards their goals. They want to head towards a two of cups as well. They're waiting. They're waiting for a faded partner. They're waiting for a faded partner. I'm going to leave that there so we could continue to see the threes and reminded of the third party wound that's conquered. That's a significant thing to conquer too. Show me the knight of coins, please. The knight of coins. Oh, good. Something happened where they developed a broader vision for their life that made them, I'm hearing, even more patient um, when it comes to obtaining their goals. They have big ones. They have big ones when it comes to their physical world. King of Swords is Aquarian energy. Pisces energy there with the moon. Um, that has opened them up to, it's going to open them up, up to more choices than they could even comprehend at this time. Because they're going to generate resources to an impressive degree. Show me the ten of wands that Gemini is conquering. Ooh. Sun, the emperor, and the lovers. Leo, Aries, Gemini energy. Oh, okay. So are you seeing, are you finally seeing that it's being illuminated that someone was a um, divine counterpart? Show me the Ten of Swords. Some money challenges there. Yep. That you see plain as day now. No, they, they weren't, they weren't a temptation. There's there's that Knight of Wands then. There's something you know that's associated with your Knight of Wands, some form of immaturity that you know is, is what built up the fear in your mind where you did not access this connection whole, uh, fully. That's why it was lost. That's why it was lost. What comes with the revelation of understanding this person was a divine counterpart? You want to head toward them straight away. Okay, sure, sure. You may send you may send messages first before arriving. 
Okay. There's uh, the more you open up to you processing your Knight of Wands, the pitfall of your Knight of Wands, because Knight of Wands isn't just just bad. It's not. It's not. But in this context, it's swinging more towards a hindrance than of help. Okay. Um, the more you lean into dissecting that, the more you realize truth of what happened as you look back. You see certain things that were said and done clearly versus before with through this lens. It's different with that lens. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. Let's see what's going on with them in their current energy, their near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. I'll see you guys over there. Bye.